and okay. All right, we're back. Yeah, yeah. What I was saying was, we like the main group stay at the edge of the circle, or for Kronos, in effective firing range, and me and Hector will uh, attempt negotiation. I, I do want to point this out because I have to let you guys talk for a while. This is a cave. Everything you've been saying has been echoing. I, I let it go off at first. But you guys have been talking an awful oh. while without anyone ask, being like, maybe this cave echoes, no. and it's a short distance, so she can hear oh. everything you guys are saying. Now, now, now oh, Hector, 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 listen. Huh? We want this to go down as nicely as possible. Use your, uh, your pretty boy tongue and just look, get us out of this, okay? Did I open I, up well, the I wanted? <gasps> I did. I like using the hammer, but I don't want to use the hammer. Of course. Press. I muted myself, um, so you guys can hear but they can't. I'm gonna open up my uh, voice changer now. Excuse me! Greetings. Greetings. A little closer. Greetings. Greetings, mortal. Greetings, Excuse mortal. me! Um... Does anyone here, uh... G give me just a minute. Okay. Greetings. Greetings, mortal. Greetings, mortal! Greetings, mortal. I am the divine! Alright, perfect. This, this works. works. So... I don't want to hear my microphone. Holy shit, the voice changer. God Hello! Damn. Hello! Greetings, mortal! Greetings. What is it that's me? Are we fighting a chipmunk? The god Gina can do for you. Does it sound like a I thought it sounded like, like, a, like a light kind of witch thing. <laughs> it kind of yeah, sounds like a witch. It, it, it's, it's got like a witch vibe, yeah. I can lure the uh, bitch. You, you sound like the mouse from Zootopia. <laughs> how, how, is, how is how is how is how is this? No, uh, how is, how is, how is, how is, is this? A, bit, a bit lower. How is how is no? How is, how is, how is this? I, I'm a witch. Uh, it's okay. That just, just yeah. That just sounds like a higher pitch version of me. How it works. I'm, I'm a witch. witch. That works. <laughs> higher, go higher. Oh, I'm, I'm, a, a, I'm, I'm a witch. witch. Perfect. All right. All right. It's good. Let's just go. I'm a witch. Greetings. I am Gardena the witch. What is it you are doing in my cave? Um, milady, uh, you seem to have an object of fair interest to us. And, oh. uh, we would, yes, we would personally ask for you if you would, uh, give it up to us. No. It's for a great cause. My cause is better. A cause to benefit the whole entire world. Okay, my cause is better. What is your cause, if I may ask, my, my, my lady? I am going to create more powerful and sophisticated constructs and give them life like these animated armors you see here. Uh, Kronos visibly perks up at that. Ask what she plans to do with the construct. My fair lady, if I, if you would dare let me ask, what, what are you going to do with these constructs you wish to create with this object? Well, anything. I'm going to live with them. They are going to be my, my, my companions. Uh, do you just earn for friendship? You see, I have mastered the art of giving artificial life and intelligence to constructs I create from rare earth minerals. So... Essentially, they will be my friends and companions. Kronos steps forward into the, like, by mail, like, trying to listen more. This media will allow me to create very powerful animated constructs and give them life. They will become sentient. <clears throat> it's actually not so bad, you know. I mean, very she's not trying to destroy the world. Meteor Guardian, and he would be my husband! My, my lady. Yes. Um, I think we can make a negotiation here. Oh. Um, we can, uh, we can take you back to where, uh, to where... No. Oh. Immediately denied. Why is that? I like this cave. This is where I live. I am a hermit. Kronos comments that this is a very nice cave. You are a wise one. I like you. This cave is rather cool. Kronos, like, looks over, and then, like, looks at his hand, and then gives, like, a thumbs up. You will appear to be an animated construct. Step forward. Kronos does mm -hmm. so. You. 
You appear to be artificial life in form of sentience. Perfect. Tell me, how were you created? Uh, the chassis was created by myself. The transference was far more difficult. I had help from the ancient machine. Truly. The great machine has spoken to me before. It told me that these machines would subtract my loneliness, and, and if I serve him by creating more, that my life will never be lonely again. Kronos also follows such beliefs and then, like, calls over Cooper. This is Cooper! He is my friend. One. Or she is... He? I forgot. It, it is my friend! Well, then you must realize why I need this this meteor. Well, step aside, Hector. Yeah, we're not, we're not good for this. <laughs> yeah. I understand, but wouldn't it be better for us to figure out how to do it on our own. Well, this, is... this is what I seek. This is my goal. It would be nice to research it, but at the end of the day, if it is a stone doing the work, then I do not feel that we are proving how great the machines are. Well, the stone is not doing the work. I am using the material from inside the, 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 the meteor to, to build up a construct and give it life, essentially creating... It's like how your machine was made. You obviously needed metal, right? It's essentially that. I am using the meteor as the metal, the ingredients. But I am still giving it life myself. I it see. Like a stronger chassis. Kronos likes the idea of a stronger chassis. Kronos looks at his own chassis. My chassis is always in need of upgrades. Indeed, so you understand why I need this. Kronos understands. Good. However, Kronos does not understand the organics he travels with. If they feel they have a good reason, I will let them at least talk to you. And then Kronos steps over to the side. If a fight breaks out, I promise not to hurt you or your companion. Kronos has not deemed you a threat. Kronos will not engage. Wait, Kronos... Uh, uh, uh. Kronos, you get inspiration Co for that entire conversation. <laughs> Cooper also sides with Kronos, obviously. Oh, obviously. Actually, you know what? Cro Kronos is going to stand by their, his new friends. Oh, uh, well, <laughs> she, she likes Kronos it. asked for permission to stand close. You may. Uh, well, that, uh, that I, 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 I call for uh, intermission. Come on, Hector, hold off. <laughs> I, I bring him back over here. <laughs> what she is the <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, come, come here, come here, come here. All right, all right. I am so, staff. I can well, hear my okay. sound <laughs> equipment seems to be fully operational. Man, man, okay, okay. Uh, man, man, turn the volume to like two. Turn the volume to two, okay? Uh, we need to be uh, uh, secretive, okay? Fenris, come close, come close. Is broken. Cr Kronos is talking to uh, the the witch and like just at, like talking shop, like right. oh, yeah, how, yeah. you know, how did they do that? Uh, she's replying, right, man, like, man, giving man. you insight so, so just uh, to... how she like made some of the things, but not giving away too many of the secrets, kind of like just giving you the brief things, bullet points. And then Kronos asks, like you know, if she has any suggestions for his own chassis or Cooper. Well, she goes. Well, uh, hang on, let me turn back on the voice changer. She goes. Well, you know, as long as you have the proper materials, essentially, as long as you you don't try to create, but more like enforce a chassis already built foundation, you could theoretically enhance the one you currently have to be even bulkier than the one you now. Unfortunately, I have ran out of the materials, but if you manage to find some glow dust and return to me, I might be able to even make your chassis stronger, as strong, even stronger as the animated armors I have here. Kronos is very intrigued. Any chance you could fix Cooper's uh, afterburners? They seem to not be working. Mm, that appears because he doesn't seem like he has afterburners. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a problem. We must <laughs> fix that as well. <laughs> 
right, all right. So, so, Mel, Mel, just, just, uh, uh, just like nod if, if for like agreement, because we can't be allowed. We have to be secretive, okay? So, we've lost our most powerful. Chronos. Yeah, yes, thank you. When we hit a lull in the talk, Chronos sees if he can hear them talking. All right. All right. Oh, see. You can. 17, yeah. You can hear him talking. <laughs> so what are we going to do? She says she needs the medals to create companions. I do not see why she would need the medals from the meteorite. If any medals will do and she can create life out of anything, then why metal? Why do they need strength if she only wants them for companionship? Sure, there is a matter of permanency, but... Anything can survive long enough. No, 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 no. So that's not the main problem here. The problem is, we have to get that meteor. She has a fucking army at her side, and now she has a most powerful member who can vaporize us if we so as lift a finger in the wrong direction. So we're at kind of a, a, a dead end here. <coughs> my voice my throat is at dead end too. No, it's on the impasse because we can't pass. That's what it I, seemed that's like what she was talking me. to uh, Mr. Fancy Robot. What if I talk to them? You know, Mel, I, I trust you, buddy, but please don't mention Operation 2. Okay, yeah, yes, yeah, so no, oper mention no, Operation 1. Do not mention any package. operation. Do not mention any operation that involves killing. Slicing, dicing, or yeah, thieving, stealing. okay? Father Duncan just I, I walks up that. and begins audibly and loudly slurping on his keg of alcohol. Hello, Father Duncan. How are you? Ah, you wouldn't happen to know any alchemy, would you? Which oh, lady? Um. Because when we in when we install the afterburners, we would need to make fuel. I am not. I'm not knowledgeable in, in alchemy. Not that much. Sorry. Ah, oh, that is a I shame. I'm more spells and witchy rather than... Ooh. I don't know if the voice talk. changer effect will go into the recording, because I think it just records my mic. Okay. <laughs> so only you guys will be able to enjoy the sound, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Excuse me, fellow nice woman. Yes. Hey, hey, How back. are you? Let's just watch it. Alright, I guess. Forgive him. He is inferior. Thank you for the compliment. She, she whispers, yes, but he could be used as material. <laughs> Just thumbs up. <laughs> He's just ignoring that. My operation, one, is to deliver package. But it seems like you have the package. May I have the package? No. That doesn't seem nice. Okay. But if I use... Seems like he's going through his database of knowledge. Error! Error! Not compatible. Uh, Sorry, he's, he's I was faulty. going to say something. He's faulty. Carlos has a question. Hmm? Oh, no. If you are out of the materials, does that mean... The meteor is no longer useful? No, I can build it completely from scratch using just the meteor as materials. Ah, I see. So wait, are these not made from the meteor yet? No, these are ones I've made before using other materials. Ah, Kronos inspects them. They are done very nicely. Roll investigation. They look like they're ma they look, they look like chainmail suits. Hi. I pop out of a heavy back beard, just like to look around. Uh, all right, huddle, huddle, up, huddle up, lads. Let's just watch Hi. them from a distance. What? What? Hi. What? Sorry, I was caught in a loop. Okay. I am a simple male bot. Okay. <laughs> this 
use my <laughs> direction to get. I don't Skinated, like how this is playing. Not out. mention anything about killing. I, I think we need to get a mail. No. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, I no, 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 no. I do not want to oh. kill you. You, I want package. I Killing you know. seems like mail, it... mail, 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 mail. Uh, I, I, I think it's best we just go back now. I think I'm doing. You're, you're doing, you're doing too good, mail. Uh, I, it's not really. Just actually, just <laughs> mail. Don't just go back. And tilt his head a little, like the hat. It seems like it's just welded on to him. <laughs> Gar Gardena like, like, like narrows her eyebrows. You there, silvery hitman. Yes. Step forward. What is it, milady? Oh. Okay. You don't oh. seem normal. You uh, are not I... entirely human, are you? Uh, no, ma'am, I'm not. Oh, what are you? Uh, I am a. I am a vampire. Sure. <gasps> Hmm. She she turns to Kronos. Correct me if I'm wrong, but you've transferred your former life into your your new self, right? Correct. I'm not sure of the details, but after the chassis was complete, the great machine saw to this transference. How old were you when you transferred? Towards the end of my organic lifespan. What if we were to take a new life and take put that in a stasis, having it grow up entirely into a new ch thing like yourself? Perhaps it will grow more knowledgeable of itself, as youngins are more open to learning and more this? influenceable. Am I hearing this? This is true, powerful. but and I understand this might reveal my own flaw but if it is already taken from an organic will it not have some flaw built into it perhaps but if we get it from a young enough age we might be able to negate that flaw entirely uh, I, I, I think see. it is in Hector's best interest no. not to become uh, I lobotomized think it is Hector's best interest to listen to what I say come on as Hector a, don't, don't listen as a, oh. as a vampire you have a longer lifespan than most humans, and the power of both human and vampire within you. You're not wrong. I, I would have you breed me. <laughs> Hector, don't listen to the witch. You're She's human using... and, and vampire, along with my... I think I'm a half orc. Along with... Or maybe she's an orc. <laughs> along with my orc powers, and my knowledge of... of Transference of life to our sentience and, and material, we could create a being so powerful that it could potentially grow the race of constructs and further the science and, and wonders of it all. Lord have mercy. Kronos likes the idea, but what if they become stronger than us? That is, a, that is a, that, that, that's a possibility, but if they do, their knowledge will be shared with us, and we can evolve to them. And so will others. They, we will continuously evolve as a species. The animated constructs will, will be officially recognized as its own race. It will not, no longer be denied or, or segregated or, 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 or have be discriminated against. Think of it. No matter what life will throw at them and us, we can throw it back and be fine and grow stronger as a result. Hector, Hector, no, no. Kronos no. agrees. However, Kronos has never taken much um, stock of what society thinks. If Kronos did, Kronos would not be who he is today. You are correct, but just think if a society recognized us rather than ignore us, not only could we function as we do now, but we could function even better and even get help from the from the humans and, and all those people. We, we could be the ultimate life form. Kronos dreams of the day of mechanical cities 
where we could live in peace and continue to evolve and create. Exactly. Hector, you could give us this power. Breed me. Hector, no, don't, don't listen to that. Don't listen to the witch. You, uh, I'd love to Hector to see if he's like, like taking this seriously or not. Like, breed me, and I will give you a small piece of the meteor. I'm gonna try and look at Hector's face and see if he's like actually seriously considering. Cross turns to her and says, "What if we take the meteor and make yourself a body, so that you will have just as much time as the rest of us to create this?" Yes, that that would be nice, but unfortunately. I am so old that I will never, I will not be as smart or as wise as you are without many, many years. Whereas a newborn would, would be much more efficient and better. I am willing to make the sacrifice for the betterment of animated constructs. Kronos does not understand the sacrifice. The nice thing about becoming a construct is time no longer matters. So what if it would take you 10 years to learn what an infant would learn in one. As long as time is not relevant, you could continually increase your knowledge. You have a point, but as you said before, with with us, we had a flaw because we were old enough. But a newborn might not have that flaw, or we could negate it, thus making them flawless. However, they require guidance. Maybe. And if they are left unguided, or even worse, if they are found by the current society as it is, what if they are tainted and created more flawed? That is a possibility, but nothing is without its risks, and I think this is a risk worth taking. For not only the nature of it, but for knowledge and science itself. Wouldn't you agree, if you are indeed a man of science, wouldn't you agree that some risks are worth taking? <laughs> a man of science. <laughs> Kronos, Kronos agrees that sometimes risk is necessary. Kronos just does not agree in this sense that the risk is necessary. All you were trying to do is do something faster, something that Kronos cannot comprehend, as for Kronos, time is no object. But it would be faster, better, and easily more suited. Not only that, but if it does work, it will open up no, not just the, the, the way we do it now, but it will Help us create many, many more from then on. How many more of your kind have you seen before of, of such life transference? Kronos has not yet found them. Kronos has learned magic to try to find them, exactly. but it has not worked. The way to get it. This could be the way more of your kind come to be. Kronos still disagrees, but Kronos will not stop you. This could be your chance to be a part of creating that of which you seek. <laughs> anyway, Hector, breed me. I'm going to stand in front of Hector, and I'm going to grab him by the shoulders and look at him. Hector, no, don't, you don't, no, 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 this is not the, no, not good, no. I not. have a question. Bye. <clears throat> Don't drink. My fair lass, may I deliberate with my group before I make any... Alright, oh, good, good. Huddle up, huddle up. I am a simple male bot, as you can... Male, see. male, you're coming with us. I'm gonna... No! <laughs> no, 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 Hector, Hector, Hector yeah, let, let him question. talk. What is your... What, uh, what are you going to do with the apparently inferior robots like me... Well, if we get enough knowledge, we could perhaps even upgrade you and give you sentience as well. I think I already have sentience. No, you have programming. That could be easily changed. Think what about are it. you talking about? Well, think about it. Have you ever done anything other than delivering mail or delivering messages? It is my livelihood. That is your programming. Now think if you could do whatever you want. I would deliver mail. That is because of your programming. You are you are restricted and binded to your current programming, and yet you cannot even see that yourself. We would give you sentience so you could think beyond the capabilities you have now. Hmm. I... Hmm. I 
error going against your programming is bad for the company. Error. Error. However, think about this. What would the company do to you if they noticed that you had too many errors? Uh, this is not normal male's normal voice. The company is already aware of this, this uh, bot errors. He is being fixed slowly and surely. And you go to the bathroom over here. The company could shut you down at any time. Whereas, if you gain sentience, you could deliver mail for eternity. This is mail back talking. I love delivering mail. But wouldn't you like to do it because you want to and not because the company tells you to? Who is this company you're talking about? The company you work for. I don't work for a company. Then where do you get the mail? From the government. That is the company. Is... We're in war yes. right now. Crows turns to the witch. We could just we could just lock him into a paradox if we had to. We could. And then and then we could possibly fix him later. We very much could, indeed. <laughs> I just want to point out, you guys are totally laying Chronos like totally turn sides on you all. Dude, I feel betrayed. <laughs> <laughs> so what's that paradox is that Kronos I immediately my best thought of that scene earlier, from fucking I... uh, Portal 2 where fucking GLaDOS tries to paradox Wesley <laughs> and she almost kills herself by doing it. Hi. Hi. Error. Operation. Zero. Gain free will. I don't oh. remember that operation. Execute order 66. <laughs> order! Going to kill people now. Ah! <laughs> I literally just shot water out of my fucking nose. <laughs> I, I, I was gonna th I was gonna kill everyone here and then myself. <laughs> All right. Well. All right. Kronos will admit Kronos would not like to see a fight between anyone in the cave. I would not like to fight. What is it, Dildrio? Blood would disagree. Okay, much. Hector. This is the classic maneuver of the seductive wish. She's trying to get you in, so then you betray us, and we all die. Father Duncan gets interrupted from his drink. Fenris. Uh -huh. <clears throat> I don't know what you do. You know, I, I, this is all bad business, you know? We just... Yeah, just I mean, uh, I, we, we just I, need the meteor, and we need to boot it, you know? So... Chrono um, starts I, tinkering on Cooper. I, this is a very peculiar situation. I do not know how to uh, react to this witch. On one hand, her means they are not evil but we have been sent on this task explicitly for good our task is clearly greater than hers yes but on the other hand we cannot deny her her wish that would be wrong as well and then kind of like thinks like he's kind of like in a sort of quandary like he doesn't really know what to do because he's kind of like stuck like on either way like someone's kind of like benefiting like in a way because like on one hand the animated species of armor people is kind of like getting their own thing, which is something that he can kind of like understand. But on the other hand, like the world could be at stake with their thing, which is kind of more important, arguably. Father Duncan, you haven't said much. Do you? By any chance? Hey, Father, offer your wisdom in this trying time. Do you by any chance have some approach we can take? <sighs> have you thought of anything? The mm. voice is your yes. if it's important. I what is it, Father Duncan? Oh, the voice changer is still on, but... 
Oh, my bad. Let me turn it off. No, it's cool. <laughs> I think you should let me keep drinking. Ah, <coughs> uh, uh, you're always... 16. Kronos wonders what languages Am your bot speaks. Am I become your enemy because I tell you the truth? Is that Boondock Saints? <laughs> <laughs> that's Galatians 4.16. <laughs> Pretty sure that's Boondock Saints. The Boondock Saints are referencing or maybe the it's Bible. A... So, yeah, yeah, I know, it is in that's the joke. No father, for shepherds we shall be for thee, my lord, for thee. Power hath ascended forth from thy hand that our feet may swiftly carry out thy command. I'll leave and so we I'll shall flow a river forth the, the, to thee, and teeming with soul shall it ever be. In nomine patria fili et spiritu sancti. <laughs> it sounded uh, like you spake made up language for a second. I love that uh, movie. <laughs> Extra, what are you thinking? Uh, you, you can't be moved by the witch, can you? I'm, of course, I'm, I'm not at all moved by her. Well, but. I'm gonna say, check if he's bullshitting. What if we right. uh, compromises? Uh, honey, are you trying to bullshit? I'm not all bullshitting. All right, so oh, okay. uh, yeah, roll insight. Just uh, still, uh, there you go. You don't think he's bullshitting? It doesn't seem like it. Hector, Hector doesn't fall in love. With her, Father really. Duncan says like she did. She did just say that you should sleep with her, and then she'll give you a piece of the meteor. So you either find a way to get the full meteor. Or you can offer a different deal, or you can sleep with We could, yes, as I was going to say, we could find another compromise. She only needs it for material, but we what if there was her. other material? Or we could fight her and her entire army. They have us rather outnumbered. Let's, yeah, let's a lot of not, let's not, let's not, let's <laughs> leave the fight to fight her. Nine to four, I believe it is, and Kronos might join them. So it might be ten to four, four or five. Because the male seems to be malfunctioning, so it might really just be 4 to 10. In other words, I don't think these are odds that we could surpass. I believe that we may need to compromise. Okay. Negotiation is the only way we get out of this. Geppetto's still Indeed. just a rat. I mean, uh, not a rat, a uh, lizard. Oh, yeah, I forgot about Geppetto. So it's... Yeah, I fucking... Where is Geppetto? <laughs> He's a lizard so hiding inside the tree. Like, I've been wondering where Max has been, like, for the past hour. He's, he's a lizard hiding inside Dildreal. Kronos tries talking machine speak to the robots. One of them turns Ooh. around and Guys, I've been talking back. for the longest time. I've been muted. What? How long have you been active? Three years. That is a long time. What have you guys been doing? Protecting Gardena. That is a good objective. Do many people come after her? Lots of people found her before and tried to kill her for her knowledge. That is bad. Yes. Dojo pops, uh, Geppetto drops, uh, pops out of Dojo's, like, beard. And yeah. Cro Kronos wonders if he can help upgrade the bots. Uh, roll investigation. With the proper materials, it seems like you could, in fact, upgrade the bots to more stronger versions of themselves. Can I talk in wild shape or no? Yes, I think it says. Oh, yeah. Read wild shape. It says I think if you if the animal still knows the language, you can. I think is what it says. Um, wild shape. What do my enchanted tinkerer's tools do again? Do you remember? It gives you like a additional plus two, I think, or something. It says, it should say on there. Um. Uh, transforming doesn't break your. Oh no! You can't cast spells, and your ability to speak or take any actions requires hands or is limited to the capabilities of your beast form. So as long, so yeah, you can still speak because your lizard has a mouth. <laughs> it should say yeah. doesn't it, what your enchanted fingers tools does. Like. No, it doesn't. The, I'm like, well, gentlemen, uh, why don't you, why don't you lay her down? Why don't we take a, I know she's a, a whatchamacallit, fuck, I know she's a, whatever it is that stays in a place for a long time, but Witch. I'm pretty sure, yeah, no, 
there's another word for it, but I'm pretty sure if we tell her what we're trying to do, and with what remaining materials we have, we can at least get half the meteorite. That would be a decent compromise, but we are supposed to get all of it, or at least Oh, more unless you make half. magic shits. Oh, okay, awesome. I am not on board with Hector laying the woman. I'm not on board. But with I could her. perhaps. I would. I incapacitate her with a uh, figure. That would be useful. I'm pretty sure to spe to appease Kronos, <laughs> we could just knock her out and take her back to fucking. Uh, well, that provides range. that we could get past the, the guards. Kronos so. wonders if we can still hear them. Roll perception. I uh, think finally for you guys talking, can you all roll stealth? Uh, Fenris, uh, everybody there. Geppetto, Fenris, Hector, Doldriel. I'm glad I took stealth then. <laughs> A male can definitely hear you guys. That is. Hey, audio Slate of always hand, works. Uh, stealth? Or stealth. stealth? Sleight of hand is dex as well, so can that just count? Oh no. Is, oh, the modifier, is, the, is it the same or different? Yeah, it's the same. It's exactly two. Sure. Okay. Um, I'm more worried about him, so... Yeah, Hector can hear everybody. If it's a tie... Uh, Hector. Uh, well, if, no. if it's a tie, you can still hear him, so you can just barely hear him. So, Kronos, you can just barely hear uh, Steve Geppetto, but you can hear everybody else. Kr Kronos just points out, THAT IS NOT TRUE! Well... Uh... I'm not sure what to do now. I crawl out of, like, Dojo's, and I crawl over, like, to here. Okay. And I transform back. Oh, okay, it was a bit, okay. Uh... Kronos goes back to talking to the witch, like, gives ideas on upgrades. Kronos, you didn't even make Cooper. You got Cooper from the Archmage. Why don't we take her back to the Archmage and see what he can do with the robots and stuff? So, the Archrage found him through time. He didn't fix them. I actually had to fix C3PPO. Who's that? That is the other bot I had at the same time as, or before Cooper. I have his parts you just, in my backpack. You only had Cooper the whole time. No, you? no. I had a freaking fighting soldier bot. And yeah, no, he was back. And yeah, a dog. I, I lost both of them, though. Yeah, but I have their parts. Okay. I need to rebuild them. But remember, that's before he reversed time, Calvin. <gasps> oh. oh, yeah, that's right. You guys yeah. didn't relive. We didn't things. live that. That's why I was saying you just had Cooper. Yeah, no, I I did more. Uh, Cooper was an upgraded version from the first time around. I also have a dog somewhere in the ocean that I need to find one day. I miss him. Hey guys, give me one second. Alright. Okay. This is a serious dilemma, and I like it. Yeah. I mean, so like is I this... said, I'm not really sure what to do in character. Is this, uh... Is this the fight that was going to happen? Like, is this as it was designed? Nope. The so... enemies, I mean. The enemies are. Is it a witch with robots, or is yes. that your touch? It's a witch with robots. That's definitely how it is. I just okay because if you did it, you knew this was would have probably happened. I just, as people were talking, I just gave gave her personality a little more. Yeah, no, than, that's it fine. Tell me what what exactly she wants, other than she wants. To oh no, 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 no! I'm just saying, if if she's not outright hostile and she's trying to like better machines. Yeah, Kronos wasn't going... <laughs> Kronos was not going to do anything against her. I just like how the party's all debating what they should do. Male, male. Well, yeah, because, like, bo both goals are technically uh, righteous. Well, not no, even technically. They, they are straight-up righteous. You can find a way to get the... You can find a way to get the full meteor... You can accept the part of the meteor, or you can leave with no okay. meteor and fail the quest. 
Kronos asks if she can help me build something with the parts I have. Maybe after all this situation is done with. Hmm. Kronos starts playing the Jeopardy music out of his speakers. I was just waiting for Honey to get back so I can continue. I'm already back. Oh, you are? Uh, nice. Alright, yeah. so... I believe we should figure a new compromise. I do not think that you sleeping with this person will benefit of us, especially if it's only a chunk. Seems rather a hefty payment for a, a small piece of our actual goal. It's Kronos crazy. points out that if that does happen, Kronos must watch for research purposes. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot. Uh, yeah, it has been inquired that Kronos acquire a penis. penis. So he will need to watch and study. Why do my characters have a profound effect on your characters most of the time? <laughs> anyway, uh, moving on with that. Um, Madam, is there uh, any way we, we can find split a different half compromise? The compromise sure. that she has given us, it really isn't fair. You want, you want oh. a way to, you want a way to, for me to split it in half? Yes, ma'am. That would depend on the performance of the Hector over there. <laughs> uh, the sexual performance, you mean? Is there any other way I meant no more it so wouldn't be how sexual? Well the child would become. Ah, that makes more sense. Well, champ, and he like slaps him on the back. I didn't want this to happen, but you know, you're, the only, you're our only choice. I, for one, am going to go outside and look away because I do not want to vomit. I was once quite a looker in my younger days. Me, we're sure of that, male. Well, we're sure of that. Well, Mr. Maximoff, this is the only way. Get us at least half of it. Mm. I do, ones. however, have one minor. I, I can help you if you need the strength for it. <laughs> <laughs> I do not I do, believe I'll I be able to have a time for that. And I pull I out I'm... my bear spirit tome. I, I you pull out I'm your fine. bear spirit tome. I'm, I'm like, I can help you with the this if you ever need it. I'm not gonna. I just, pl I just like, boo over there, <laughs> and you'll become even stronger. I just want to point out, Mikhail was in this situation once. Yeah. Yes, he was. <laughs> so was and and Mikhail does have a kid running around there somewhere. <laughs> I she is she is not a bad person. She just wants friends. Matt, why don't we be your friends? Like Kronos. Kronos is already her friend. Oh uh, yeah, I well, said I'm, like Kronos. Seems rather lonely to have armor shells as friends. I don't think well, saying like Kronos likes. is a good idea in this situation. Well, why don't you make more friends? The, wait, she's that's what she's planning to do. What she's doing, male. <laughs> <doing. laughs> I think she's doing. Technically, why not have friends in natural way? We're all uh, robots. Well, she's a I, a I point at the brain. Second, I'm like, <sighs> technically, we have memory storage, and we are programmed deep down to do basic things. Oh, that no. sounds fake. And mumbo jumbo. But at the basis of it all, that programming is also in the same way free will. Just oh, as free will is indeed programming. Oh, you guys well, the, pro are... the programming you are speaking of is essentially to compensate for your inferior chassis or bodies. She is trying to make an even superior chassis, which offers very little limitation to the being that it creates. We Therefore, that seems inferior. How you do you figure? Feel, because feeling steals... is everything. If you cannot feel, then what is life? You cannot experience the warmth of a sunrise, the taste of a meal, the savor of the universe itself. To turn sure. into metal is to take away everything that makes life worth living. The beauty sure. of life is its temperance. To take that away it would be nothing. Are, are you insulting my lifestyle? Are you suggesting that I do not have life, for I do not experience it the same way you do. You know, now you never said that. Do you, 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 you once did experience life time. in your own words. After all, you said you were once organic, as you call us. I was simply stating a fact. The fact is, you 
your quote-unquote programming is due to the inferiority of your chassis. My chassis is not even Come up on. to a perfect standard. Even this chassis no still thing. requires <laughs> upgrade. All I was saying is a lot of your quote-unquote programming is due to the fact that you must provide warmth and shelter for your bodies. You must re uh, repopulate and reproduce to feed your desire for immortality. You must eat and consume other natural nope. things to the world to survive. And that is the cycle of life, is it not? That is how the universe has always worked. It That's is nature. Cool. Planets that die. Nature. But what it makes that correct? Why Why must life? death be what makes the only option? Correction? What makes not feeling anything correct? After all, what is correct? Again, wh what is this not feeling anything? As I have demonstrated, I still wish for friendship. I still feel the desire to communicate and to progress I do not mean forward. As in emotion. I mean feeling as in physically. If I were to touch you, you would not feel it, no? If I was Kronos does hand, have feeling feel. receptors. Kronos is also currently in the process of researching a penis, which will only be considered a success if it does what if you consider a normal one to does. Be inferior, then why create yourself in such a way to mimic us? Why go to all that trouble why if mimic you're life? so superior? And, as you have said, there are so things superior? that this current chassis cannot feel or cannot experience. There is nothing wrong with increasing its threshold to experience more. However, your bodies are incapable of doing so. And that is what makes us able special. to live life. And it's what makes us special. It's what makes us beautiful. That's what Everything makes life ends worth living. The, the universe will end one day, and nothing yes. will happen. Nobody to go on forever. permanently in such a way it will mean nothing in the grand scheme of things. You will simply see the end of everything. You have not seen time as I have. You have not been touched by oh, the power of time. Touched by time. We have aged from Perhaps such a child. Not yet. But should... also at this point, Fedros isn't even standing up. He's just kind of like sitting down, like kind of yes, like uh, peacefully, just like too. to show that he's like not a threat. And he's kind of just like meditating on everything that is being said. It's also just the way to keep him calm. And I kind of show that he's like just trying, trying to like have an intelligent discussion as well. I'm still waiting for the Hector to breed me. <laughs> well, Hector, you... go up and do that. So me, me, Kronos, yeah, so let's and Let's have Fenris a discussion have while a you're having the breathing. It'll, breathing, it'll be good. And make sure you get stuff. half of us, half the mood right. Half oh. is still yes, good. Be tonight. sure to have your offspring uh, be successful. Make it Kronos, successful. Kronos sets up his memory sticks in preparations of recording. Um. <laughs> Also, my madam, friend. may I ask you? Oh, never my mind. I'll ask you afterwards, if uh, you don't mind, ma'am. Before we, I guess, have the thing. Uh, <laughs> ask what decision she wants. <laughs> I, <clears throat> would you be willing to possibly give me the whole meteorite? <laughs> no. <laughs> the purpose of using the life to transfer it into the meteorite. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, speaking of uh, the meteorite, you say you need it only for the materials. In that case, why not use any old material? Because you have you have already stated my chassis, male's chassis, will eventually fail. We will constantly yeah, it will eventually require fail. Require upgrades. Okay. The meteor itself, material. however, possesses that the ability fails. that maybe it's it will not steel. fail. It's still steel. Or Who iron, said anything or... that the meteorite was steel? Well, do, do you think the Archmage would send us all this way for steel from space? Maybe. And maybe it's harder. I mean, it's a special type of steel. Yeah. Whatever it is, it too is impermanent. All things I are. I remember correctly. He wanted to use it in some form of magic. Correct. So it right, might be very magical. Correct. Magical. Thank magical. you, Mal, for proving that even though you have ears, you do not listen. I thought his name was the male. The point is that it is not itself 
permanent. Why not just use any old metal after all? It'll last a while. Hector, do you need Have you question? had a chance to to examine this? What do you say? What do you say, Steve? I am not you one who the performance in the field of magic. I shall help you. Yeah, you know, I am one who educates themselves okay. in the field you of magic. You gotta go over there. It's in. It's an area of effect thing. All right. That increases his strength, not his performance. Oh. Well, what if she hey, likes it hard? I mean, I think she wants it hard, man. I'm pretty sure she, she only wants does it in the go Amazon into, like... position, so you're getting it hard. Oh, oh, sure. no. oh she's riding him? You, you know what the Amazon position is, right? I have uh, no, no idea. Please describe it to me in great detail. Though. Please do. Uh, I didn't well, even know I can't how to fuck this recording, way. But it's when the girl's on top and she spreads the guy's legs. Oh. oh, oh yeah, that one. That's really bad for breeding, though. If anything, missionary would be good. You can buy that, but she's now. magic. Fair enough. Magic just helps breed better. <laughs> magic could do anything, my dude. You could have magic punch. You're right. Come forth, Hector, into my chamber of men. I mean, machines. Oh. <laughs> this is so yeah, annoying. It's a gangbang. Damn. I mean, my, my lady, uh, I, there's, uh, there's a chance we get half if I give you a good time, right? Correct. If All the right. child comes out well. Oh, I... What's... Can I have a help action with him? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll, I'll see you guys later. I'm gonna... I'm gonna save the world through sex. <laughs> you won't be the first or last. Alright, Chronos sets up to record. Uh, 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 Gardena casts uh, a darkness and sound cancelization spell over this entire area, but everyone else inside can see. Uh, what are you guys down there gonna do? I guess we're gonna wait. Just right there. I'm going to the fuck outside. Let's just, let's just talk. Let's just chill out and talk, man. Like, we don't really know each other. You gonna like, go out, I'm not you gonna go out with Dodriel? No, no, I'm just going- I'm going to the mouth of the cave, because I don't want to be anywhere near that, because there's probably going to be some kind of stench. So you're going to step on the crater, then? No, no, I'm stepping- <laughs> like, I'm, the, I'm not stepping on the crater, I'm just, like, you know, hanging at the edge of the- what do you call it? The- the, the cave, you know? Alright. Yeah, I just kind of, like, uh... I guess I'm going to kind of, like, chill on, like, the wall, so, like, in the- like, sort of, like, in between every- uh, like, that's, like, on the wall. There's not really a position where I can, like, be against the wall, but, like, he's basically, like, sitting against the wall. He's, like, kind of in between where Mel is and uh, those two are. And he's I want to check like... out the shallow things. And, uh, what he's doing is he sits down, crosses his leg, he kind of, like, puts his hands on his knees, and he's kind of meditating a little bit. Kind of, like, calm down from all that. He's, like, that was a pretty stressful situation. Kronos walks up and asks uh, if he can be of assistance no. before they start. No. I, I don't know what these yellow it. things are. Unless you would like to insert this metal rod inside his behind, it may stimulate the, the prostate gland and, and further increase probability of strong child. Kronos was more... <laughs> it, Kronos was thinking more in the lines of offering machine-like precision and stamina you, so you, that... You can do that, but would you also do the rod thing? Sure. <laughs> Chronos task tireless. Ooh. There you go, honey. Hell yeah! <laughs> All right, Chronos is gonna stick him at a roll off your ass as well. Okay, actually, oh. okay. So before, um, so just in case, just in case. Right, just in case. Uh, considering he's he's, I I I don't know how forceful he's gonna be, so I gotta cast Blade War. <laughs> 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 so, you, so, you're, so the so the scar, the Y-shaped scar in your hand lights up as you cast Blade Ward on yourself. Yeah. <laughs> it lasts a round, though, so it sucks for you. For six seconds, you won't feel anything. Well, that's, like, only the insertion part will really hurt. When it yeah. Yeah. Good. All right, so Steve, what are you doing? Steve's just gonna sit there and wait for his friend. <laughs> okay. Uh, I can't see anything. Uh, Can uh, I not? Uh, uh, Hector and Kronos roll performance. Okay. Hector, you better roll you something. Gotta go, you gotta have an uh, advantage because of tireless, uh, Hector. A what? 
You're gonna have advantage because of a tireless. Not right. Oh my god. <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> After a solid two minutes Hour. of Kronos' help because of his forceful prodding, <laughs> the bleeding is successful. It is done. Hector is no longer a virgin. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it is, well, uh, Gardena, like, is finished, and so are you, and she, like, is casting magic on her, and she goes, oh, it is such a strong boy. I'm glad. Kronos is over here in the corner, uh, writing, like, sketches in his, uh, his notepad of how to create a penis. And, uh, Gardena uses magic to... Slice the meteor in half, essentially. And she goes, You will get half of the meteor. No, right. I thank you for your service, belated. I'll, I'll Make sure back. to get her number so that you can hook up again. Hey, I helped. <laughs> he stuck a rod <laughs> in his ass. Phil <laughs> is trying. He, he doesn't know what the company knows. He doesn't know there is a company. In He's one just trying month, to. I will have contact. a strong child and I will start working on the magic. Is it fine if I visit back in one month to visit my boy? You are allowed. Thank you. <laughs> well, I, 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 I'm gonna pay child support. I'm gonna pay child support. <laughs> Kronos writes down that just having a penis won't be good enough. He will eventually figure out how to reproduce. All right. His uh, anus. I don't mind. <laughs> now have half a meteor. She goes. It is hot though, so uh, and it's heavy. Oh. Hey, Kronos, can you carry it for me? You, you Kronos. Fair enough. Kronos can. Kronos, are you resistant to fire damage? Uh, I don't know. That, you're a Warforged now, you're resistant to I'm fire not. Damage. He's okay. a Gearforged. What is your, your total strength? Always different then. Total strength uh, with the modification is 16. Kronos, you don't think you are strong enough to lift this meteor on your own. He will carry it with Cooper. Cooper is not even close to being strong enough to lift the meteor. He's also the same. He is, but he's a bird. He doesn't have arms to pick it up. <laughs> Quo, can you change your fucking voice, please? Oh, my no, I love this. I <laughs> love this. No. It's, it's off now. There you go. Wait, Damn. You. It doesn't tell me when it's on and off. I just have to double click and I keep forgetting that. Okay. Unfortunately, because it is only half, it doesn't roll very well. On the bright side, though, it's uh, if it's like a clean cut, which I assume it is with magic, it'll be semi frictionless. Wait, since it's only half, never mind, Murray, you can pick it up. Sorry, I was thinking full thing. No, it's half. No, no, it's half. So you can pick it up. Still do damage to you, though. Mm hmm. Can pull it. Wait, do we know that they're, like, uh, done and, like, working all this out? No, because you guys are not even there. Close. And they had, like, a silence thing. Yeah. Yeah, I, I thought so, but I wanted to ask. We just straight vibing, yo. Yeah. Just kind of waiting. Carlos points out that, uh, my steel body is actually not immune to fire. Ah, forgive my ignorance then. <clears throat> well, you know, uh, we may perhaps we could work out another deal. Hmm? Well, you know, if uh, you were to give us, say, a couple of your fingers, Hector, I could have one of these machines carry it back for you. Ah, uh, no need. I, I value my value my fingers. All right. Well. Maybe you would like to get us fingers of that wolf person. We could add that DNA into the, the baby as well, and thus make a shape-shifting vampire orc 
machine. Kronos <laughs> um, <laughs> wonders if he could make a temporary sled out of the gear parts he has. Ooh. Um, how many gear parts do you have? 40. Ooh. Um. It was enough for... it. Remember I got I do. the total um, for both... Uh, Roll a uh, 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 enchanted tools with um, just regular, but roll it with wisdom and get above an 18. Nope. Uh, probably singe the fuck out of rope. We got some chains. Let's see if I have chains. Guys, see if you have chains. No. No. Uh, so no. you go get, um, a finger would be fine. Can you get a finger from the dog person? I can try. Alright, so you wear that out. Do that and I will let one of, I will have one of the machines carry back for you. <clears throat> so heck is just walking down. Hey, hey, Steve. Kr Kronos tries one, one more <laughs> time. All right, but this time we'll be dis with disadvantage. Hey, uh, Fenris? Mm. No, no, I'm, I'm uh, Okay, Kronos is done trying. Yes. No, we got, like, we're getting half the media. Two uh, parts. Uh, Very good. good. So, no! uh, it seems, uh, we have a uh, You do, you cannot carry the meteor. Yeah. Um. I suspected this much. And so the, the lady gave a very fair proposal. Not actually, it's not very fair. Um, she wants one of your fingers to carry it for, uh, for her to carry it for us. Mm. Uh, do you by any chance have a finger you're not using, Fenris? <laughs> <laughs> the only one I would be willing to give up would be a pinky, but I don't think that we would even need to go to that length. After all, we have metal people, are they hurt by the fire of the meteor? Uh, apparently the, uh, Kronos is, so I, I, is, I, guess, I, uh, I guess they are. I don't know. Ma I, male, I don't are it. you hurt by the fire as well? Yes. I also have important packages. Mm. However, uh, this is his important package. Are these important packages, uh, by any chance, uh, let us carry the meteor without... Of burning our skin off. Maybe. I haven't talked this over with Crow. <laughs> uh, are we going fucking castaway here? And what's in your UPS packages? Yes. What's in my BS packages? All right. Uh, let's, well, first off, let's see how many packages you have. You got okay. one. Well, let's see what it is. <clears throat> it's a rubber duck. <laughs> but yeah! you don't know that. Rubber is insulated. I take yeah, out this package nice. that looks suspiciously like a rubber duck. Yeah, it says it's it's uh to deliver to ambassador uh count ambassador count chalk chalk salad the uh supreme private of the third company Marine Corps. Ah uh, yes, I was on my way of delivering this when I, I was first. Te teleported to meet you guys. Mm. It is very important that I get this suspicious package to this marine. Hmm. Well, I guess uh, I guess it has no use then. I don't want to ruin your job. Perhaps if we could somehow cool it down enough. I don't think we have any methods here in this cave. I think it's magic, uh, and magic fire can't be cooled down. Well, if you use magic to cool down the magic fire... You have uh, magic to cool down magic fire? I do not, but maybe someone here does. Um, my stuff is mostly tree-based. Uh, I can probably pull it with trees. But that would probably burn the tree bits. Yeah. I mean, I unless... Quick about it. Well... If you had enough water in the branches, 
perhaps that would work, but hey, yo, who's the priest guy? Who's the father guy? His name again? Father Duncan. Uh, father Duncan, do you? I know you're drinking, but uh, do you have a, a way to, by any chance, cool down or somehow cool the meteor? Maybe you know you're not supposed to cool down the meteor. Maybe it needs to be hot for materials to work. Just you make an interesting point. You Do you have, have any a way to pull it? that you can spare with? Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, oh, I've got to move. Fenris, are you gonna? Are mm. you, are you sure you don't want to give up a pinky? Well, I'd rather have that as a last resort. The pinky. I'm just saying, you know, Hector did take one for the team. Well, he had sex with a hot orc. I don't think this is nearly the same. I see no you, you don't know what I went through, Fenris. Actually, <laughs> you're right. That's why really he knows cool. nothing about Cronus' is prodding. <laughs> I oh, do not want to know what you strange humanoids did over there. <laughs> Your practices of mating are interesting, to say the least, I imagine. That's right, Fenris only does doggy style. <laughs> exactly! <laughs> Thank you for understanding the joke, Crow! 